Hello everybody, welcome to the Lion Habitat Ranch. My name is Caroline, my partner over here is Cameron, but the star of the show here is Ozzy. And I think by him licking my hair told me he was ready to get painting. <laughs> and we're doing a special painting because we're doing it live on Facebook. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Let's get started on our last painting of the day. So Ozzy is a six year old reticulated giraffe. He's about 16 feet tall right now, but believe it or not, he could keep growing. When he turns seven years old, he could be 17 to 18 feet tall. So who knows, maybe next time you see him, he'll be two feet taller. Good job. Now he's gonna show me that he's ready to paint by sticking out that nice long tongue of his. It is prehensile, which is just a really fancy word for grasping like our hands. That's how he's able to keep this paintbrush in his mouth by holding it with his tongue and lips. So that way he can do some beautiful artwork on this paper today. <laughs> He's doing a very good job too. You'll notice his tongue is that really unique purple color that is on purpose. Giraffes are awake 18 to 20 hours a day looking for food. Now when your tongue is sticking out of your mouth for that long, you want to make sure tongue doesn't get sunburned. So that purple pigmentation is a natural way for his body to prevent that from happening. Because no amount of aloe vera is ever going to fix that sunburn, guys. Oh, just one dot. One dot of pink. Now I mentioned that these guys are awake 18 to 20 hours a day looking for food. That doesn't leave that much time to sleep. Can you hear any guesses to how long these guys actually sleep for? Um, 12 hours, I heard four hours. You're actually the closest at 10 minutes. Giraffes only sleep about 30 minutes to an hour a day. And that's not even all at once. They take little micro naps and then they sleep with their eyes wide open and standing up so that way predators like lions can't tell that they're sleeping. So if you see Ozzy just staring off in the distance not doing anything, he's taking a nap. <laughs> a lot of people do ask us how do you want lions? And the short answer is he doesn't much mind. Ozzy knows at this point he is bigger and faster than any lion here on property. Our biggest lion is Dude and he's about 600 pounds and that is a big lion everybody. But Ozzy here is already about 2,000 pounds. When he's done growing he could be 3,000 pounds. And he can run at speeds of about 35 miles per hour. So he's got this under control. The only time a giraffe Aussie size is vulnerable is when they bend down to drink water because they gotta uh, spread their legs all the way across so they can get their uh, very long neck down all the way to the ground. There you go. He, he decided that he needed one more. <laughs> now you're gonna hear this clicking throughout this that whole session. That is me. That's me telling Ozzy that he's doing a great job and that he's going to get rewarded. You're going to notice that I'm only going to click when he is actually painting. So that way Ozzy's made the connection in his mind that, oh, I'm getting rewarded for painting. So that way this behavior stays strong for years and years to come and more people can stick around and watch Ozzy do amazing artwork today. He's doing a good job. Now giraffes do see in color. That's so that way in the wild, they can tell what food is ripe and ready to eat. Here, Ozzy's able to use that color vision to tell what he's painting and where he's placing the paint. Now, luckily he is liking this pink. Pink is usually not a favorite color of Ozzy's because we are painting pink uh, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is October and it is that time to celebrate those who have fought and are currently fighting breast cancer. So we just wanted to maybe make a few keychains to celebrate that. So this paper will be cut up so that way we can make some nice keychains later on. We'll probably do a lot of pink themed paintings this month so that way we can celebrate those who are dealing with breast cancer. Good job bud. Now he does have favorite colors being a six-year-old and again like I said pink's usually not a favorite but luckily he's doing really good with them today because if he does like them they end up on the paper. If he doesn't like them, they end up on the barn, on the floor, or on the people. Ozzy does aspire to be a hairstylist and manicurist every once in a while. And luckily, you know, Cameron doesn't have my pink nails yet. Now giraffes are known for that very, very long neck of theirs. Can I hear any guesses to how many bones are actually in that neck? Actually, that is closer than you think. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys are coming in with a good guesses today. So giraffes, just like us and most mammals, only have seven vertebrae in their neck. 
His are obviously a lot larger than ours is. They're about 10 inches long. And then his neck is configured like our shoulders and hips, so that way he has really good mobility in his neck. That's how he's able to stand up really nice and tall to that 16 foot mark. And then also bend down and do this beautiful painting for us today. Good job. Now, Ozzy does have a very cool job being our painting giraffe here on property, but he also serves a pretty serious role as well. Ozzy is what you call a wildlife ambassador, because he's here representing all the giraffes that are out in the wild right now, because unfortunately they're going through a bit of a tough time. Over the past 20 years, some populations of giraffes have fallen as much as 80%, and that's due to us destroying their habitat and also illegally poaching them. So Ozzy's just here to remind you guys that giraffes are amazing animals, we should do everything in our power to keep their home safe, and that the only appropriate way to shoot at a giraffe is with a camera. Oh, you did a good job. He's really liking this pink color. Stroke, because if anybody knows a six-year-old, they do know that they have short attention spans, and we want to make sure this stays nice and positive for Ozzy, so that way he wants to continue painting. We'll do one more. Luckily he's, he's chewing his food right now. Because I don't think people want broccoli on their beautiful pink keychains. Good job. He's really going for it. There you go. Saw that nice long tongue stick out. He was like, yes, I'm ready. Good job. So we'll give him one more big handful of carrots here. I see that I've left carrots for the very end of the show. There you go. He's got to get all of them. There you go. Good job, bud. Now, if you enjoy the way he painted that, why don't you guys give him a round of applause? Oh, they liked it. Can you take a bow? We do work on giraffe time, so it is a bit slower. <laughs> Good job, bud. Oh. Now, if you guys are interested in taking a piece of Ozzy's already finished artwork, we all have that in our gift shop. We have hats, scarves, t-shirts, canvases, all ready to go home with you today. We just ask that one group go in at a time, so that way you guys are staying safe. We appreciate you guys wearing masks and socially distancing, so that way we can stay open. Chat with Z. So if you go down this walkway and look to the right hand side, you will see a beautiful green bird. We will talk about Z today. Uh, we will be closing at 2 o'clock, so just make sure you guys are heading out by the time it's 2 o'clock. We want to thank those who tuned into our Facebook Live, a painting of this paper right here. And we appreciate you guys coming out today. Thank you. Okay.